Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice full body flexibility practice and I am gonna use my strap for a few things today. So if you have something at home that can make your arms a little bit longer, I highly recommend you grab something. It could be a scarf, a long sock, anything at all really. You're gonna need just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today laying down and grab your strap if you've got one. Mm -mm. We're gonna bring our legs up into the air and you can either just have your legs up into the air without a strap or you can have some assistance from your strap by placing it on the ball of your feet. Ah. <sighs> and just holding on to your strap to help keep your legs up nice and high. And then from here, you guys, a few options. You can have your legs just going straight up into the air, or if plow pose is in your practice, you can actually start on working your toes a little closer towards your forehead, lifting your low back off of the floor. And I know that we are just starting our yoga practice today, so maybe you wanna get a little bit more warmed up first before you come into a full plow. So you do not have to go all the way to bringing your toes behind the floor, behind your head on the floor, or you can go anywhere that you would like. And you could even move a little bit between the two, a little rocking motion maybe. You might even just close your eyes and focus more on your breath than what your legs are doing. And if you do have your low back lifted any amount, we're just gonna slowly start to bring it back down to the floor. Keep your legs lifted for another moment though. <sighs> Take a nice big breath in and out. Let your low back get heavy on your mats. And then let's stay for another inhale. And start to bend your knees and bring your feet to the floor with your exhale. And you can take your strap off of your feet. You can just hang on to it. But bring your feet to the floor. Maybe do a couple rocks side to side. Just give your back a nice massage. <clears throat> you could even pull your knees in towards your chest and give your low back a bigger massage. If you can keep it down. And then from here, you guys, we're just gonna start to let, let our legs go out long and actually roll onto the left side. So onto your left hip and you can have your strap close to you. So you do have a few options with this. We're on our left side and we're gonna be lifting our right leg up into the air. So maybe you're just gonna hang onto your knee or maybe you're gonna send your foot up a little bit higher, find some length for your leg. You might be able to hold your foot without a strap or you might be able to place your strap on your foot and then encourage your toes towards the top of your mat or straight up into the air or towards the top of your mat. You could lay down as much as you wanna relax or just stay on your elbow and your forearm and just bring some length into that top leg or keeping that knee bent again is a great option. This can be a nice balance posture. So you don't roll back, you don't roll forwards. And then we're gonna get a little bit fancy from here, you guys. So whether you've got a, a bent knee, a straight knee, whatever, we're gonna actually pivot onto our tummies and we're gonna bring our leg with us. So you could lower your leg first and then start to pivot and turn all the way over onto your tummy. But we're going to keep our leg out to the side and this is where you have an option to maybe lose the strap, just use the floor to hold your leg in place. Maybe you're going to heel toe your foot a little bit closer towards the top of your mat. Maybe you're going to keep your knee nice and bent and you can even hang on to your foot if that's available. You can use your strap or you could just completely relax your upper body. You don't have to hang on to anything. Just feeling the love through the inner leg. 
Nice job, you guys. You want to get a little bit fancier while we're here. That left leg, it's out long behind us. You might actually bend that knee and try to grab your foot. Again, your strap might come in handy, but it's a nice quad stretch if you can encourage your heel towards your glute. Nice work, you guys. If you do have that left leg bent, let that go first. And if your right leg is out straight, we're going to bend that in as well. And then you can actually bring it all the way back behind you. So we're going to come up onto our forearms. You can move your strap off to the side for a moment. We're going to be on our forearms here. And you can either zip your legs together or bring them out wide, but tuck your elbows right underneath your shoulders, sphinx, growing a little taller through the upper body as you pull your shoulders away from your chest. Feeling the love through the low back. You're going to feel that more if your legs are together. You'll feel it a little less if you bring your feet wider. But let your hips, your belly button, melt into the ground. Lifting up through the chest. And feeling the love through the low back. Nice job, you guys. Stay for an inhale. And use the exhale to gently rest your chest back down on your mat. Rest a cheek, a chin, maybe your forehead. If your hips want to rock side to side, let them. Awesome, you guys. We are going to slowly start to rotate onto the right hip. We're going to be bringing that leg, the left one this time, up into the air. I'm just going to face the other way, so bear with me for a moment. Using strap or no strap, <clears throat> maybe depending on how the other side went. But finding your right hip and your left knee, either straightening that leg or keeping the knee bent. Find your balance. Maybe give that knee a nice hug. Mm -mm. And lengthening just as much as feels good for you. Nice, you guys. You can start by lowering that knee or that leg towards the floor and pivoting onto your tummy <laughs> in a graceful way. It can be a little tricky to move with your leg out to the side there, but just make the adjustments so you're feeling a nice stretch. Maybe your big toe is going towards the top of your mat. Maybe your knee's bent and you're in half frog. Just relax through the upper body. Lay on your tummy. And if you wanted to get fancy again and try to grab your, your right foot, getting into the quad, use your strap if your hands, your arms not quite long enough, or just skip this part. And if you have your foot, start to let it go first. And then sliding that left leg in and bringing it all the way behind you, finding your forearms. We're gonna do one more sphinx here with the option to go a little further and seal, but tuck your elbows under your shoulders. Decide if you want your legs together or out wide. If you want to join me in seal for more of a back bend, you can bring your hands out wide and then just start to lift the elbows, either from the forearms or just the palms. Let your shoulders get heavy. Let your hips get heavy and try to soften your glutes. Feel the love through the low back, up your spine, into your nice soft shoulders. Awesome, you guys. Stay for an inhale. 
And gently place your chest down as you exhale. Taking a moment here to relax. Maybe rock the hips side to side. Maybe just be still. Awesome job, you guys. When you feel ready to move, you can bring your hands under your shoulders. We're just going to push ourselves up into tabletop to start. And actually, I want you to have your strap close, and we're going to set up pigeon. So you can bring your right leg forward, your left leg behind you, and I'm going to give you guys a few options in your pigeon today. <clears throat> so option one is just to do pigeon Keep your chest lifted or fold forwards if you like. Option two is to work on king pigeon, bending the back leg, trying to grab our foot. So your strap again, it might come in handy if you are able to grab your foot. But I don't want to just think about our legs today. We're going to think about our shoulders as well. So I highly recommend using your strap if you've got a strap to use and hooking it on your foot, and then trying to bring uh, uh, the chest to face forwards. From here, you guys, if your strap is long enough, you're actually gonna lift your arms up over your head and walk your hands towards your foot a little bit, getting into the shoulders. Getting into those shoulders. A little king pigeon work. Maybe you have your foot in your hands. Maybe your strap isn't long enough and you can only hold your foot with just the left hand or your strap. And then from here, you guys, we're just going to let go. So we're gonna let our arms, our strap go. We're gonna let our back leg go. Ah. <sighs> We're gonna roll to the side. If you are folding forwards, lift on up. Just roll to the side so that you can bring your back leg forwards. You can just give yourself a nice hug or rock side to side. Shake it out, shake it out. We are gonna be moving straight to the other side, bringing our left leg forwards and our right leg behind us. <clears throat> So setting up for your pigeon. And again, you can skip the king pigeon play. You can just keep your chest lifted. You can fold forwards. You can keep your back leg down on the floor. <sighs> Great place to be. But if you are working on your king pigeon today, maybe thinking a little bit more about the shoulders and the arms. I know sometimes you can just bring your heel towards your glute and look behind you and and not think so much about the shoulders. You could do that too, whatever you prefer. But if you've got that strap you can use, maybe set it up now. <clears throat> Starting to pull the chest forwards. Grabbing on both hands if you have that, have that option. And keeping that chest proud. <clears throat> The fingertips walking back towards the foot. Softening through the shoulders. And just finding your breath. Awesome job, you guys. We can start to just let it go. Nice and slow. <clears throat> Rolling to that left side. Bring your back leg forwards. Giving yourself another hug, another rock side to side. Hmm. 
And you can cross your ankles. Come over onto your knees when you're ready. So we're either going to take rabbit pose or you can just sit comfy, bring your chin towards your collarbone. If you wanna join me in rabbit pose, we're gonna use the floor to encourage our chin towards our collarbone. So feel free to stay just like this or even use your hands as an extra weight. But if you're gonna join with me, tuck your chin towards your collarbone and then we're gonna bring our head, ideally the crown of the head, all the way to the floor. Keep chucking your chin. Once your head touches, you're gonna to start to lift your hips. And it's just like you wanna bring the back of your head to the floor. Feel the nice length through the back of the neck. And if your hips are lifted, slowly bring them back down to your heels and just let your forehead slide so that it's resting on the mat. Bringing your neck back into a nice long, a nice long neck and spine. And if you were seated, you can bring your forehead down and find child's pose. We'll take just a few more moments in child's pose. You can bring your knees out as wide as you'd like. And instead of resting the forehead, maybe turn a cheek down. And make it into your neck again. And if you brought one cheek down, let's switch sides. Me guys, and if you have a cheek down, bring your forehead back. And take another full breath in and out. And then let the inhale bring your forehead, your upper body up. And you can move into a nice comfy seat. Let's close your eyes again. Bring your hands together in front of your heart and a nice big inhale. And let it go. Awesome practice, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, namaste.